Welcome back in time now for Who Owns Kenya. This week we focus on British American Investments, which is ranked as one of the most valuable stocks at the Nairobi Stock Exchange. The company listed in 2011 at 9 shillings, but has since gone up to 19 shillings and 45 cents. Now, it started its operations in Kenya in 1965 when British American insurance company Bahamas set up base in the country. In 1979, the company opened a fully-fledged Kenyan subsidiary, British American Insurance Kenya Holdings. And in 1984, Kenyans acquired 33.33% of the company due to new requirements by the Kanu government that had developed an Africanization program in the late 70s. In 1995, the company opened its first subsidiary, British American Financial Services, that was in 2003 renamed British American Investments, BRITAC. In 2006, the company sold an additional 30% of its shares to Kenyans, increasing local ownership to 63.33%. It has since opened two additional subsidiaries in Uganda and South Sudan. The company also owns a 7.66% stake in Equity Bank, which earned it over 394 million shillings in dividends in 2012. Um, that was dividends from Equity Bank. The British American Investments also holds a 4.9% stake in housing finance, earning it a 146.8 million shilling dividend from housing finance. That was in 2012. So, who owns British American Investments? As of the last audited accounts of the company, Mauritian business mogul Dawood Rawat is the top shareholder in the company, holding a 23.92% stake through British American Kenya Holdings Limited. Dawood's stake in the company has, however, dropped since to 18% following the end of a restriction by the Capital Markets Authority, requiring the top seven shareholders to hold 51% of the company. At number two is Equity Holdings Limited, which is the holding company for Equity Bank with a 21.41% stake in the company. There's a huge correlation between Equity Bank's top shareholders and British American investments through their various interests in both companies and in housing finance as well. At number three and the top local individual shareholder in British American investments is Nairobi businessman Jim Nambaru, who holds 11.6% of the company. As earlier mentioned, the top 10 shareholders may have already sold off some of their shares in the company, but Mbaru remains the top local individual shareholder in the company. At number four is British American Investments Group Managing Director Benson Wairegi with a 5.3% stake in the company. And at number five is a local investment firm, Filimbi Limited, which is co-owned by Equity Bank founder Peter Munga and Mrs. Jane Wangoi Mwangi, who is the wife of Equity Bank Chief Executive Dr. James Mwangi. Filimbi held a 4.76% stake in the company, but has since sold off 1.39%, bringing down its shareholding to 2.7%. At number six is Peter Munga, the founder of Equity Bank with a 3.97% uh, stake in the company. At number seven is Equity Bank Chief Executive Dr. James Mwangi with a 3.97% stake in the company. And there you have it. Uh, who owns British American Investments? Uh, that's the list for you. And we're happy to have with us Waihiga in studio. Great to have you with us for sports. Good to be here. And uh, we did have a quote of the week. I don't mm -hmm. think they have it on the screen. Of course, we're preparing for New Horizons. Yes, that's So our tomorrow. main studio is going through a whole <laughs> load of work. But I have a quote here from this man called B.C. Forbes. Mm -hmm. He was Scottish. He was a financial journalist and an author. And he, he established Forbes magazine. Okay. And okay. he said, if you don't drive your business, you'll be driven out, out of business. I could, <laughs> you guess, know that I could guess how that was, was actually going to end. Yeah.